Bob, thank you. A Baltimore County teacher accused of assaulting his students. Police arrested the educator after video surfaced of him allegedly putting a student in a chokehold. And that's not the only accusation he's facing. WJC is live. Annie Rose Ramos is at Dundalk High School and has more details on that teacher and the reaction from families. Annie Rose. Well, Vic, I spoke to so many parents and students tonight, some telling me they're not that disturbed by this behavior, knowing that this teacher likes to joke around a lot. But, Vic, a lot of other parents and students feeling very differently, including one parent whose freshman son goes here to Dundalk High. Tonight, she is furious, saying no one has the right to touch her child. This is very upsetting to me. Parents reacting to the news of a teacher arrested for putting students in a headlock at Dundalk High. It is a tough job, and I recognize that. I mean, I have four kids, and I'm. Do you think I want to put them in a headlock sometimes? Yeah, but I don't do it. You know what I mean? And you can't do that to other people's children. 30 year old Andrew Rader, Dundalk High's art chair, is charged with assaulting two of his students. And there's actually a video of an individual, the teacher, putting the student in an actual headlock. In April, a mother called police after seeing this video. Showing Raider putting her son in a chokehold during art class. Her son telling police the teacher had done it at least 10 separate times. Emma Castro says if this were her son, I would have been in that school in a heartbeat and I would have put that gentleman in headlock. That is horrible. <laughs> According to charging documents obtained by WJZ, a second victim told police Raider repeatedly pushed on their backs to find pressure points. We believe that there may be others. I talk to my kids all the time and I didn't hear anything about it. In a letter to the school community, the principal says they are fully cooperating with police. Police, and Mr. Rader was immediately removed from the school and placed on administrative leave in April once they were made aware of his behavior. This should have been something that was highlighted, brought to our attention, not sent a letter in the mail or via email where it gets mixed up with so many other things. And as police actively search for other students who may have been assaulted, Emma wonders why the school didn't ask parents about it first. Hey, this is going on. Have your kids told you anything about it? We really trying to see who else could have been a victim of uh, this type of situation. Now, Vic, we did reach out to Andrew Rader's attorney. We did not hear back, but we do know that Rader has been released from jail after paying a $3,500 bond and is due back in court in July. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.